Hello everybody, um, mega excited and pleased to be back at back in the car, back driving Car 13 um, here at Mallory Park today for the Quick 60 event um, 2024. Uh, we've, been, um, we've been put into the, the wild class today with a, a selection of high powered four wheel drive, four wheel drive cars, which we're, um, we're holding our own against as usual. Um, this morning practice has been, has been good. The weather's warm and um, the track surface has been, has been really good. And we've got um, two decent timed practice runs in. Um, that went really well. The car, the car feels fantastic following some, some changes that we've made recently to, um, to, to the front end of the car more than anything. So again, we are into practice here. Darren Spooner recently got some practice at the Donington Park circuit in this wonderful Peugeot 205. It's powered uh, by the motor from a Peugeot 106, but I believe it's pushing out somewhere in excess of 500 brake horsepower. Front wheel drive much wider uh, at the front track than the rear track. It is a very impressive car, uh, one that he works very hard on. And he said to me, you know what? I've really got this car set up with Mallory in mind now. I haven't had that in previous years. So we'll see what Spooner can do. There's Dimitri Shribney, another favorite of Quick 60. A bit of a lock up there uh, into the chicane before the John Cooper S's. Uh, but uh, again, only practice. He can get away with that at this stage. What Shribney then out of the hairpin? Because I imagine uh, he'll be fast. Uh, we'll look at him later on. Darren Spooner comes up to the finish line very quick through Gerrard's a lot of downforce and a lot of confidence in the car more importantly for Spooner a 73.12 for Spooner so just over a second off the fastest in his class uh, that being Richard Wright in the Impreza you have to consider of course that the uh, four-wheel drive launch on the Impreza will be worth quite a bit of time but what a run there from Spooner already uh, with all guns blazing. So those unfamiliar with the, the format of the Quick 60 event, um, it's, it's a speed event, so a timed event, um, being broken at start and finish. Um, this year it's a lap and a half of the Mallory Park circuit, starting from pit lane exit. Um, right through to the back straight, halfway down the back straight where the finish line is. Um, this year was a little bit different, the way that they've, they've picked and structured classes, which seems to have worked really well. Um, they've used the FIA's Performance Factor website to, to use the data from each car to calculate a, a number, which was then class structured around, around that number, um, which, which does seem to have given a, a real fare and, and you know, the, times, the times are really good. So that shows that, that that's worked. Um, the, the weather has been quite changeable. We had a bit of a downpour after the second practice, so we elected to, to not run out in third practice. Um, we are currently on dinner break, so um, a couple of hours now until the race runs start this afternoon um, and the, the elimination runs begin. So um, we're just checking the car over, um, nut and bolt check, little bit of fuel, tire pressures, and um, everything's good to go in, in an hour or so time. in his Peugeot 205 joins the fray as well. That's that batch of three out onto the circuit then. Spooner set to be a favorite here today. Look at the speed already being carried uh, through Gerard's bend. Richard Wright is on the tail end of his run as we follow him out of Gerard's and across the line. I suspect 
this one could be a new benchmark. It's looking quick. It's looking committed. It's looking like a 70. 2.15, 72.15, 1 minute 12. Point one is the new benchmark then for Class B. That's going to make Neil Shaw sit up and pay attention. Paul Wright comes across the line now. Not expecting this car to be as quick, though, as Darren Spooner, who comes through behind him. We'll see both cars across the line. Paul Wright uh, crosses, and his time will come through as an 83.6. Darren Spooner, though, is on the move, and his time looked committed certainly a 72.45 for darren spooner so he goes second in class behind richard wright for the time being how spooky is this we spoke to him just before we came live here in the commentary box he said i'm losing three tenths to the four-wheel drive guys off the line he is exactly three tenths off of richard wright in the number 22 subaru impreza Spooner has just tried to launch but did he break the timing beam there with what looked almost like a bit of a false start we're back running we're back running at speed the quick 60 wild round two continues but I have questions about that first sector. Darren Spooner at 25.2 in the first sector. So he didn't get off the line at all well there. I wasn't sure whether he'd simply been asked to move the car forward or something like that. But no, after all of that waiting, Darren Spooner has had a problem. Chris Greville and Neil Shaw are both underway as well. But for Darren Spooner, he's got to pull something out of the bag here. Only five are getting through. There is Neil Shaw. Darren Spooner will come through the shot next. What time is it? 25.2 is a very poor first sector. 79.5 is the lap time. Will he stay in? Will he be out? The top five go through. I don't know that he's done enough there. Darren Spooner. With an error on the line. So that's the, the end of the day here at the Quick 60 event um, at Mallory Park. Uh, sadly, uh, a little bit of human error today, or a lot of human error, um, after being held on the, on the start finish line while some oil was cleared up. Um, I got back into the car and unfortunately stalled on the line for the, um, I think, elimination run number two. So that unfortunately put us out due to a huge amount of elapsed time restarting and, and getting going again. So yeah, really sad, um, really sad about that. Um, if we're looking at positives from the day, 
Um, then we've got to take away the fact that the, I think the car produced the fifth quickest time overall. Um, we were hoping for a, a go at the top 15 runoff, which we would have obviously been included into, but, but sadly that didn't run due to a, an extended run time on the day. So um, the, that, was, that was abolished. Um, you know, really, really pleased with the car's performance today. And um, the, the end result was down to human error rather than the car's performance. So, you know, we'll take all of that forward. All the enhancements and improvements that, that have made to the car over the past few months have, um, have all paid dividends and the car's performance was, was pretty staggering, to be fair. It's just, um, it's a real shame that we weren't able to, to show what's the, what the true pace was this afternoon um, because we still had quite a bit in our pocket for, for this afternoon's race runs. Um, that's motorsport, as they say, and that's the format of the Quick 60 event. You know, you, you make a mistake and you go home, and unfortunately, that's what I did today. So, um, yeah, upsetting. Bit bit sad to not get into the top 15 runoff as well, the fact that wasn't ran, but um, great day out with the team, good car performance, and we'll, we'll take all of this forward on to, to whatever we decide to do with the car next. Just wanted to say a big thank you um, to Hill Climb Monsters and the team at Quick 60 for putting on another another fantastic event, you know, despite it not going the way that we'd, we'd planned today. Everybody's smiling, everybody's had a great event. I thought it was ran absolutely brilliantly despite a couple of a couple of issues with obviously cars, cars braking and things. Um, just a huge thank you to the whole team for putting the event on. Um, we'll absolutely be back again next year. Uh, well done to everybody who, who won, um, all the winners. I think there was quite a few kind of favourites knocked out. Um, so I think there's a really good good mix of winners. So congratulations to all of those. Um, and thanks to everybody for a, for a great day's racing.